So here we are outside uh, my basement area here, and I've got puppies jumping all over me, and they ate their breakfast out here. And so we have five little puppies. There's this is Garnett. She needs a home too. Nobody wants Garnett. Huh, and she's so sweet. She's just a love. She's a good girl. Absolute lovey. Sweet girl. She's an 11-month-old puppy. We've got no applications. Can you believe it? Her mom was a white German Shepherd. Isn't she the prettiest orangey color? That looks like brown in the video, but out in the sunshine, she's orange. <laughs> okay. So here's our other puppy. This is Cal's. And then the little black and tans, Kells is a sable boy, and the little black and tans are our Shepherd Doberman puppies. And we did have a DNA test, and they are Shepherd and Doberman, so we call them Shobies. Shoby puppies. And they have been running around for the last, oh, good hour. Yeah, there's a couple of dogs inside there, you can see them. And they've been running around outside for the last hour. It's a beautiful day in Tennessee. And... They're acting like they're tired, like we're ready for a nap. So, you know, you weren't. It, some people might confuse and think that these were Shepherd and Lab or anything, something. But we got the DNA test to prove it. So, look at those long legs. Look at those long legs and those puppies. So, okay, that boy sitting there by the door to the right of the door is a little boy, and the other one next to him is another boy. So that's two boys right there. Their ears are like halfway up. So, and you know, Dobermans are soft ear. Their, their ears are not erect, and where the shepherds are erect. And little Kells here, you can tell, you can see the difference between a purebred puppy and the shepherd Doby. So, all good little puppies. So then the little girl over there to the left, her ears are part way up. And sometimes they actually do stand. And, um, and that's her sister behind her. So, <clears throat> These puppies are between 12 and 14 weeks old. They still have all their baby teeth. And yeah, we're tired. We're ready for a nap. So they've been out early this morning for, oh, a good two hours running around. Then they came in for, oh, maybe three hours. And then they've been back out for about an hour or hour and a half. So now after running around, we're ready to take another nap. What are you eating? Are you eating a stick? Don't eat it. Sticks. Don't eat sticks. You got a blankie over here. You can lay next to Garnett. But like I said, they've been in the house. And then. Kels, get off me. <laughs> I've been neutered yet. So he's a excited little fella. Hey, don't get too rough. Oh my goodness. These puppies are all of them, including Kells, the sable. These are all parvo survivors. Um, Kells came to us after his parvo and he was on, in recovery. He was pulled by another rescue when the breeder dumped the puppies in the shelter sick. And the shelter adopted two of the puppies out. Uh, Kells uh, went to a rescue and they took him to the vet and he went through treatment. Our four little devil dogs over here, these black and tans, uh, were also parvo survivors, and you can see it has not affected them. <laughs> this goes on all day, every day. Now the little boy in the background there, he is the more quieter of the puppies, and he will play, he's playing, but he doesn't get anywhere near as wild as they do. See, he always goes back to the side. So, you know that they are very healthy when they act like little devil dogs. You see what they're doing there. Hey, Garnett. Oh, honey. He's such a good girl. Kels, did you get off? <laughs> what are we doing, puppy puppies? My freezer's out here because it died on us, 13-year-old freezer. So we had to rush out one morning at 7 o'clock in the morning and buy a new one. So until my husband hauls it off, that's why it's sitting in my driveway. Come here, Bobby! <laughs> all right, all right. 
you're getting too rough. Hey, cut that out. You're being mean to your brother. See, there's the wallflower. Hey, stop that. You're being hateful. And for those of you who do not know what it's like to have a little bit of pups, this is pretty common. This is what they do. Hey, stop that. Hey. Nobody does stay in that dog house. If they want to go in there, they can, but see, this is more of a play thing. They stay inside the house. Tell them to not be so mean, Garnett. Garnett acts like a mother hen to them, telling them not to do that. Good girl, Garnett. Are you itching? Come on. It's a little boy. We had this temporary fencing thing here, this contraption you can see here. We were uh, previously we had blocked them off from this lower driveway and use that. We used to put that across the, down there at the end to block them in. They had a big, huge, essentially a big, huge kennel area. Cows, would you stop? Get off. Yes. Little boy poppies. Yep. You're a goose. Yes, you are. What happened to your ear? It was up the other day. What happened to your ear? Want to go up no more? Oh, look at your ear. I can't zoom in with this digital camera. What happened to your ear, little boy? Is that little boy? That's little boy. There's the other little boy. He's our little wallflower. Huh, honey. He, he's more quiet. And he's more just... Hey, don't pull on that. Seriously? Right, that's a little girl right there. She's a big female. She's as big as her brothers. And there's our that's our other little petite female right there. But she's she's a spitfire for sure. Ha huh, honey. What are you doing? Yeah, tell him. Yep, the littlest one's the feistiest. Ha huh, honey. So they definitely have the Doberman coat. They have the Doberman colors and markings. So I can't remember. I have to look at the DNA test again whether they were, if mom was a Doby or dad was a Doby. I can't, I'm sorry, I can't remember. I'll have to look at that again. I'd say that mom was probably the Doby. Look at that, closing my eyes. I'm tired. I'm ready for a nap. We've been running around out here, Mom, for a couple hours. You had us out here for a while. See, I got back at 1 o'clock. Oh, yeah, you actually been out for your bro since 1 o'clock. You've been out here longer than I thought. Are you ready for a nap? Huh? Won't go inside. Look at you closing your eyes, honey. Oh, she can't even keep her eyes open. Poor baby. <laughs> She's sleepy. Oh, there's a lot of fresh fresh air here, huh, sweetheart? Running around and we're playing. Mm-hmm. I love kisses, kisses. Kisses, kisses. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness, my goodness. We got kisses. So we have four Shoby puppies up for adoption. And they've had first set of shots. Uh, let's see, has it been ten, almost ten days ago, two weeks? Yeah, I have to look at your paperwork, but it's been... Over 10 days since you had your first set of shots. Like I said, they are purple shot survivors, so we couldn't give them their shots there for a couple weeks. And they're doing really good now. Look at Sleepy Girl. You want to go in? Let's go in the house. Come on. Okay, come on. Come on. 
Let's go in. Come on. Come on, honey. Come on, sweetie. Come on, you're tired. Let's go take a nap. Let's go take a nap before dinner. Let's go take a nap before dinner. Oh, she's giving Gaelic kisses. Gaelic's had no adopters either. Poor Gaelic. Oopsie, come on, honey. Come on. Let's go take a nap. Come on, baby girl. Come on. Come on, sweetie. Beautiful day out. It's warm out. Well, it's starting to get a little overcast. I think they're calling for rain later. Maybe tomorrow. Okay. Okay, big doggies, big puppies, go outside. Come on. Is she still sitting there? Okay. Gaelic, go outside. Good girl, Gaelic. Go outside. Good girl. Hey, you've been hateful to your sister. Liam, you want to go out? Go on, Liam. Go outside. Go on, Liam. Greta, you want to go out? Hmm? Come on, Greta. Go outside. Greta, come. Greta. Oh, Greta has no applications on her either. Another sweet girl. She's a good girl. Come on, Greta. Hi, Liam. Can you get off my camera so I don't drop it? I trust you. Okay, Greta. Come on. You go outside. Come on, Greta. Liam, let's go. Greta, come. Okay. There's your puppy. What are you doing? Oh, there's... So what they do is my canning shelf. We have to get everything off the bottom. And then the puppies go and lay up there on the bottom shelf. Isn't that silly? Is that a yawn? Hmm? I bet we're tired. Look at you children. you got your toys everywhere. you have got toys everywhere. Pull the blankie out. I'm sorry. Jeez. Get right under my feet. I'll just stand here and watch them all climb up in there. It's pretty funny. Especially if we put toys in You can't, with these guys, you can't do anything. <coughs> Liam, stop it. You can't do anything about them intervening and telling them they're going to help you. Are you going to assist me? No. Liam, leave it. See, now I put the, the towel up there. Liam, leave it. And just the idea of the towel up there for someone no reason. Oh, now we knocked it off. Liam's going to get there. And they crawl into the bottom, too, sometimes. Leave me alone. I want to go to sleep. It's the only place I can find any peace. So what they do sometimes is they play, romping around on that bottom shelf, and <laughs> it's funny. We hear them upstairs, and they're just romping around. Okay, let's try this again. Liam, stop. See, he must have wanted up there. He's wanting to sleep. There's three of them up there now. Isn't that funny? <laughs> you guys are so funny. Let's get another towel. We have, we have dobies on a shelf. <laughs> Liam, hush. We've got shelf dobies. Shelf showbies. There we go. we got shelf showbies. <laughs> Look at Kel. Kel's just got to get in there, too. <laughs> okay. There you go, Kel's. Get up on that blanket. There. See, he's going to pull it over there by him. It's, it's funny. You put the blanket up. <laughs> Liam, quit being a knucklehead. Liam's a toy hoarder, so any toys, he usually grabs them up and thinks he gets them all. Hi, Greta. Are you tired? 
This is tired puppies. We've been running around, Mom. Actually, the big girls have been outside all day. It's been so nice out. So Greta's ready for a nap for before dinner. Greta's up for adoption. She's a sweet girl, a very sweet girl. <clears throat> you have a puppy underneath the shelf, way under there. <laughs> hey, Greta. <coughs> Liam, would you stop? There we go, toy hoarder. I just I'll turn the TV on. Put the music on, huh, Greta? Oh, nice music. Charles, you can lay over there. Shobie's on a shelf. <laughs> Hi, Greta. Oh, pink nose Greta. Greta says, I want my own family. I'm an 11 month old puppy. Nobody wants me. I've never had one application on pretty Greta. Look at those eyes. Loving. Can I have a kiss? Have a kiss? Hmm? Mm, thank you. Thank you, sweet girl. Liam, can you get down?